What is up, everybody? Today, we are going to be checking out what happens if the NBA simulates 10 years into the future. And if my voice sounds different, it's because I got another mic. I got it for Christmas along with a headset and a pop filter, even though I can't find the pop filter. Like, it was really freaking expensive. It cost like 200 bucks, and my headset cost like 50. Not to brag. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, we're going to be checking out what happens uh, during the 10 years that I simulated. First of all, just by going to awards and, uh, and records, let's go to NBA records. Yeah, LeBron James, 43,000 points. Then right behind him, of course, you got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you got Karl Malone, KD, he actually still playing, uh, so he has 36,000, LeBron's got 43k, that's a 7,000 point difference, and Kevin Durant is, I believe, 38, so he could potentially have, like, three more seasons to get 7,000 points, which is a possibility, I know LeBron's probably done it, Kareem probably done it, MJ, I know he's done it. Uh, so yeah, he might actually catch up to LeBron, Kobe, of course, Dirk, and Carmelo, and Westbrook are all up there. I'll just go over, like, the top 50. I'll scroll down. You guys can pause it if you want to. And Anthony Davis is up there, and he's still, like, in the prime of his career, so that's pretty good. And you got field goals made. He's 50th. Or er, Davis and Dwight are both, like, holding their exact positions in both of them. Uh, that's pretty interesting, I think. Uh, but if we scroll up, I believe... Yeah, LeBron does have the upper hand. Or not upper hand. He does have more field goals made than Kareem. Actually, he holds the number one spot there. Once again, I'll go up... Er, I just went over the top 50. I'm an idiot. Alright, three pointers made. Once again, top 50 here. Wow, look at this. These two combined for 7,000 plus KD. These three have combined for over like 10,000 three-pointers. And at one point, they played for the same team. That's crazy. Uh, once again, as I said before, I'll just go over to like the top 50. You can sue me if you want to. That I didn't go over the top 100. I saw Contavious Caldwell Pope there for some reason, even though I never really considered him a three-point shooter. Free throws, same thing with that. Top 50. Uh, if you don't like it, you can sue me. Even though I got a pretty good lawyer, or my parents anyway, have a pretty good lawyer. Uh, rebounds. Uh, wow. Uh, wait. Wow, what? Why did I wow? All right, let's just scroll up, see uh, the top 50, of course. Uh, man, LeBron James is on, like, all of the PC. He's 14th in rebounds. Like, what type of guy is 14th in rebounds? What type of forward's 14th in rebounds? That's just crazy and unheard of. But since he's second, like, LeBron James, I have a feeling he's, like, the best NBA player at this point in history. So, that's, like, really cool. Blocks, he's probably up here. Nah, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Well, I did see Kevin Durant, so maybe. Yeah, he's 25th. That's crazy. Like, LeBron James is just like killing it he's in top 50 on everything he's second in steals as well um chris paul is there of course um but i think he's like wait he's like 10th or so in real life uh there's quiet leonard i see mike conley pg 13 dwayne wade uh kd is there kd also had a pretty good career Curry's there, even though I, I don't think he's, like, good at defense. Or he's not a liability there, but he's not that good. Oh, Doc Rivers is there, too. Minutes, the LeBron is probably up there. Curry has 40,000. Damian Lillard also does. <coughs> Dwayne Wade has 41,000. Chris Bosh, 42,000. 
Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson has a lot. Westbrook, Chris Paul, um, Paul Pierce played another season or so. Carmelo Anthony Durant is there, and you got LeBron James, like ten thousand minutes ahead of number two, which is crazy. Turnovers, LeBron's high highest at, but I mean that should be expected. Uh, also, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm making a New Year's resolution to upload every single day of 2K17, but uh, as you guys know, uh, January 1st I didn't upload, that's kind of on me, I should have waited until my uh, the video I was going to upload for that day, uh, uh, well, it, it, like, I recorded a video at like 11-ish, and then uh, I reviewed it, a few times and then I uploaded it I was thinking about doing a few more takes on it but I just uploaded it I said heck it uh, I'm just gonna upload it uh, tonight but I thought it was January 1st for some reason even though it was like 30 minutes before the first so yeah it kind of screwed me over but I'm counting that December 31st late night upload as an upload for January 1st, even though it's kind of cheap, uh, that made it, if that made any sense. Holy crap, so many people are above 50% career for field goal percentage, that's crazy. Uh, there's more singular tie, Kenneth Free, Cat, JaVale McGee, even though I don't think he plays in the NBA anymore. Oh my god. I didn't realize that many players were good field goal percentage shooters. There's Yao Ming, like way down there. Uh, three point percentage. A lot of people are over 40. There's Kenny Smith, uh, Chris Middleton. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go a little bit quicker because I don't want this video to take up too much. It not to take up too much I don't want this video to be too long assist per game uh yeah the, it might be a little bit too fast to read all of these names uh, blocks per game steals per game you can see that what am I talking about I'm an idiot alright minutes per game I believe LeBron is up there as well yeah, he's second in games played. LeBron is first, which is crazy. He's almost played one or two thousand games. Uh, now league history and MVP. It's went to Westbrook and then LeBron and then uh, Westbrook and then KD and then Westbrook and Damian Lillard and then Markel Fultz three times and then Sharif O'Neal, Shaq's son, has just won it that year. Rookie of the Year, uh, you got Ben Simmons, Markel Fultz, Sharif, Marvin Bagel Jr., John Mack, Jeremy Sanders, Dennis Wesley, Jermaine Griffin, Joshua Nance, and Jermaine Bishop. There's been a lot of people with the first name starting with J. Six Man of the Year, DeJounte Murray, Jaleel Okafor, five time Six Man of the Year. That's crazy. Cameron Payne won it twice. Mason Plumlee and then Brandon Knight because he always gets benched. Defensive player is LeBron and then Kawhi Leonard and then Anthony Davis and LeBron and then DeAndre Jordan. Holy crap. Sharif O'Neal won it five times in a row. Most improved player, uh, D'Angelo Russell, Kemba, Henry, Shortcake. That's what I'm going to call him because his last name sounds like Shortcake. De Aaron Fox. Andrew Wiggins, Lucas Woodhouse. I'm not going to try to pronounce this guy's name. Actually, you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to try to pronounce it. All right. Svyotlov Mykaliuk. Uh, I butchered that so much. Peja Lukovsky. I also butchered that probably. Cole Douglas and then Bull Bull which is a really lame name because like his first name and last name 
are literally identical. I don't know, I don't know what Moot was thinking. Rest in peace, Moot. All NBA first team. I'm not going to go over those because, I mean, let's be honest. No one cares. Coach of the year. Uh, Tyron, you won it twice. Ron Adams. Jason Kidd. Tom Thibodeau. Or is that Thibodeau? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I've heard people say it both ways. Logan Schmidt, coach of the Blazers, won it twice in a row with the Nets. Tyron Lee and Steve Kerr won it yet again. MVP. Or we already went over MVP. I'm really dumb. Past champions. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, LeBron won it twice in a row, once against the Trail Blazers. And I think that the eighth-seeded Lakers beat the Warriors in, like, six games which was crazy like I couldn't believe it when it happened KD won it twice with his 76ers and Simmons so basically two teams three peated and then the rest were Paul George Andrew Wiggins Emmanuel Moutier Isaac Copeland and then Anderson McCarthy so the Bulls are looking like a pretty good team uh league leaders you guys can just see here Hall of Fame. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So many good players just retired. LeBron, Damian Lillard, James Harden, Curry, DeMarcus Cousins, Gordon Hayward was there. I think uh, Drew Holiday was there. I just bumped my mic, so probably made a noise. Uh, Russell Westbrook retired. Chris Paul, Melo, D. Wade, Dwight, Coward, Chris Bosh. Uh, rest in peace is long. I guess. Uh, well, he's not dead. His lung's not dead, but it, I think it, like, collapsed or something. That's what 2K's calling it. You know, it's just blood clots. They're not just blood clots. It's terrible, but, you know. You know what I mean. Dirk Nowitzki, Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, and then that's pretty much it for the Hall of Fame. And, yeah, uh, now let's look at the rule change history. I didn't tamper with anything. So we eliminated the possession error rule, which I mean I don't care about trade line deadline or trade deadline occur one week sooner. Don't care about that. Change the time offensive given to advance the ball to the front court to twelve seconds. I mean I don't really care about that. Eliminate the five second back to basket violation. I actually do like that rule because I, I post up a heck ton in two K. Even though I didn't play a single game. But like if I decide to, I don't know, rebuild and then or make a few like rebuilds and this uh, like rebuilding the 2050 Warriors or something, I'll post up a lot. Um, players are now eligible for the NBA draft at 18 years of age. I love that because like at so many good high school players that play one year in college, they could, like, get injured. I know Ben Simmons, didn't he, like, make a movie on that or some crap? Uh, and then these two. My throat's a little bit sore, uh, so I'm, like, not going to pronounce them. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Be sure to leave a like and also a comment of what I should be doing next uh, ha <clears throat> happy new year, by the way, and I will catch you guys in the next episode, but first, uh, just to prove, or, I mean, just to show you guys, like, how fast 2K simulates when you're automated and stuff, look at how fast this simulation goes for the Cavs, it's really weird, because this has happened a lot, like, we're a pretty good team, above 500 in the early stages of the season, and then we go on, like, a 10-game losing streak, and we suck. Uh, so, yeah. Like, look at how... Oh, oops. Look at how fast it simulates. And we're actually on track to make the playoffs, even with LeBron retiring. Uh, which is pretty surprising. Or, I don't think we're going to make the playoffs, to be honest. But, hey, maybe we will. We just have a few more games. Uh, yeah. I think we made the playoffs. MVP, Marco Fultz. This is turning into a simulation. Yeah, KD is still going at it as a six man, scoring 20 points a game, which is pretty dang good. 
uh, Sharif O'Neal, Defense Player of the Year, and this guy, Most Improved Player, and Logan Schmidt once again wins Coach of the Year. So, props to him, I guess. Let's see if Kyrie made a team. Oh, this guy made the team. He was a rookie, wasn't he? Yeah, that guy's a rookie. Uh, wait, hold up. Is he on the rookie team, too? He better be. Oh, we also got this guy who we drafted, I guess, in the second round. Uh, yeah, he was a rookie and made the second All-NBA team. So we did finish with the seventh seed. Uh, and, yeah, let's look at the statistics just to show you guys. Yeah, Kylie is still balling out as a 35-year-old. Uh, we got this Booker guy. Tyler Ulis is actually doing pretty good, or as basketball new calls him. Uh, shout out to Chris B. Flakes for being like a really solid 2K YouTuber. Uh, Toolis, uh, Leandro, something or another. This guy, I'm not gonna try to pronounce his name. Uh, Brian Cheeks, Butt Cheeks, B Cheeks. That would be a funny name to have. So, like, in a school yearbook or whatever, or, like, during attendance, a substitute teacher would just see, like, B Cheeks and be like, Butt Cheeks, what kind of crap is that? Uh, Anthony Park, and then Ham, Ham Diallo, probably Chuck Diallo's brother, and you got Scalabis here. Lucas Woodhouse, uh, Olivero, that's a cool name, uh, Kirkland, yeah, we got actually an okay team, we were like last year, and we did make the playoffs, let's see who wins the playoffs, I'm not sure why I'm simulating, uh, I just feel like it, yeah, we got eliminated first round, and the Sixers won the championship, Marvin Bagel, was the finals MVP. Wait, where were the Bulls at? Oh, they got eliminated first round. That's gotta be pretty disappointing. The player retirement, KD retires. I'm gonna override it. Paul George retires. I'm not gonna override it, because he's pretty trash, to be honest. Avery Bradley, Blake Griffin, John Wall. Yeah, a lot of good players are retiring here. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it took me kind of a long time to simulate, uh, so I, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully you guys leave a like, and hopefully you enjoyed. Please leave a like, please, please, I beg you. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace out.